Hi everybody! Sorry guys for a little late with this tutorial, but I had a lot of work these days. Also let me show off a little. Now I have a brand new notebook, an Asus N56 model. It's working on a Windows 8 and um, I don't know all features yet, but my first impressions was really good. And if you have a hard choice now about which OS to choose, I'm definitely recommend it to you. But enough words and let's get started. As you can see on the screen right now, this scene already have some objects and it's mean what I don't do any kind of modeling today. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create this. So, let me show you the scene for today. I'm already set up the camera and the size of the frame, which is 600 by 900 pixels. In this scene I'm using a 180mm camera, which means I have a lot less perspective distortion, but quite enough for my objects not looks flat. The bottle and the glass is pretty simple objects. I am sure most of you already know how to model it, but when you model a bottle with some liquid inside, there is one important thing to do it right. The liquid must be the inside wall of the bottle. If you look closer, you can see what bottle doesn't have any polygons inside. Where is the liquid present? I show it to you on the glass model. It led to cycles render the glass correctly. Skewer in the martini glass is a simple icosphere with extruded polygons. The olive have a little bit different story, but it's simple too. It's just a sphere with deleted top and bottom polygons and then I tweak some vertices to shape the form of my olive. Also I put a small box inside to imitate the red thing inside the olive. I believe in real life it's a maybe a carrot or a piece of fish, maybe, I don't know exactly. Now it's time to put some materials on it. For the floor I'm using a pretty simple material. It's a white glossy shader. Also I want what reflection will be not sharp, but a little blurry. So in the roughness section I type 0.003. For the skewer I choose a glass shader and left all parameters as is, except the color. The color I choose red.
the bottle cap will be the mix of two kind of shaders. For the first one, I choose Diffuse and change it color to almost black. For the second one, I chose Glossy. I want what bottle cap be just a little bit glossy, so I make the mix factor to 0.2. And now it means what this shader contain only 20% of glossy shader. For the bottle I choose a standard glass shader, but for the alcohol inside the IOR parameter will be different. In real world, all transparent objects and things have an um, index of refraction, even air. And for the alcohol it's equal to 1.363. I found it on the internet and you can do it too for all objects you need for. The air, plastic, diamond, water and many others. I'm using the combination of two mixed shaders here, diffuse and glossy, and plus emission shader. I know in real world olive don't emit light, but who cares, we are artists, right? And we can change a lot of things to achieve needed result. So the material setup is finished already, and now it's time to set up the light. Light is the most important thing. Even if you use the latest modern rendering systems and very detailed models, the wrong light will kill your every picture. There is a lot of schemes for the light setup and I can't show it all to you in one lesson. If you're enough interested about it, you can find it in the internet by yourself. For this scene, I'm already know well about what light I want to see in the final image and it is a bright light from the sides to create a nice contour of my objects. For the light, I'm using a plain object with emission shader on it. Cycles can work with the standard blender lights, but when you use it, you can see many fireflies on the picture, especially on the glass surfaces. Now I'm set up two plain objects on the sides of my scene. You can use preview option right inside your window, but I will show you the rendered pictures so you can see all changes. Not so bad for start, but in my taste the white stripes of light is too white, so I scale them down by the y-axis in a half, and also I change the brightness to make contour a better contrast. Now as you can see the bottle looks pretty, but the glasses still need a little tweaking. I move my lights to back a little to make a contour more even.
Now the light goes from the back. So far so good, but look to the cap, it's completely flat. To fix this, we must create a new light source. It will be some kind of a fill light, to make the front side of the bottle a little bit more brighter. I move it below the floor level to avoid unnecessary reflections on the bottle and the thing needs to make straight of this light to one and a half. Now all scene is completely finished to final render. I'm using the 3000 of samples because glass needed so and heat render. Now you are looking at the final image. I am also make just a little of changes in Photoshop. I brighten up the olive and make whole picture more contrast, just a little. That's all folks. By the way, on my notebook the render time was 26 minutes in GPU. I think it's not so bad for notebook. Ok, I hope you learned something today. My name is Stan, stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe, bye bye.